Hey everybody, welcome to our brand new episode. Today, we're going to be taking things a little bit vintage because we're going to be adding a Polaroid effect to our digital photos. So we're going to go from this to this. So, you ready? Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is grab my Polaroid frame and bring it into Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, I'm going to double click on my layer because I need to edit it. I'm just going to click OK and now I can go ahead and edit this layer. So I'm going to grab my magic wand tool and I'm going to click on the black area. And I'm just going to press delete or backspace. And this is going to make this selection transparent. So now I'm going back to my finder, bring the image and drag it on the same Photoshop document. All right, so go ahead and click enter. This is very important, you guys. You want to bring your photo down. It has to be the first layer and that is going to be this effect. So as you can see, that's already our main polar. So I'm just going to grab my move tool. Now you can just grab it and put it wherever you want. I kind of like that. All right, so now that we've got this, we have to change the colors. So we're going to select our photo and we're going to create a couple of adjustments. So we're going to go down here and the first thing I want to do is grab color balance and I'm going to start with my highlights. Something very important that I have to mention is the fact that for example, if you're using Fuji or if you're using the Impossible Project film, like everything comes with a little bit of a different color. Like if you use, for example, your SX-70, that is going to come with a little bit of a warm up, like goldens and yellows and greens. And sometimes it comes a little bit blue. So there is no formula for that. What I like to do though, is I really like that yellow bluish type of tint on my, on my photo. So that's the one I'm going to be showing you right now. So I'm already on my highlights. I'm going to bring my yellows up and probably I'm going to add a tiny bit of magenta. I'm going to go to my midtones and add some blue. Maybe I'm going to introduce a little bit of green because I like the way that looks and my shadows. I'm just going to add some red, but this is going to change in a second. The second thing I want to do right now is play a little bit with my curves. So I'm just going to add some curves. I'm going to make a point around the middle doesn't have to be perfect and one around here your typical contrast points if you will and I'm going to grab this one right here and I'm going to bring in not much though I would say somewhere around there I'm gonna go to my blue channel and then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to add some blue tint into my shadow so I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to bring some yellow into my highlights bring this down there we go Yep, that looks really cool. Now for the sake of it, let me grab the curves and my color balance and I'm gonna press Command G. And this is going to create a group. So I'm just going to name this color correction. So our color correction is terrific. Now two more things to add and we're going to be good to go. Go back to the layer where your photo is, which is the main layer, which is this one right here. And you're going to go up to filter and go to noise, add noise. All right, so here we want to keep it very realistic. So for me, like a safe point would be between nine and 12. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with nine this time and click okay. It's the before and the after. And on the same layer, we're going again up to filter. And this time we're going to click on blur and Gaussian blur. So here really depends on the amount of blur you want to add. The thing is that Polaroids have that beautiful dreamy, on sharp type of look to them. So in my case, I would say somewhere between 1.5 and maybe three. In my opinion, that looks kind of cool. So I'm just gonna click okay. All right, so the last thing I like to do is add a last texture and this is going to be like a film texture. So I've got one ready right here. Again, these are going to be linked on the description down below. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into my Photoshop project. I'm going to turn it and make it more or less like the size of your photo. It does not have to be perfect because we're about to blend this. Click enter once you're happy. And now still on this layer, we're going to go to our blending options and click soft light. And this is going to bring something like this. We're going to desaturate only our film texture. So we're going to click on this layer, hit alt and just keep pressing. And while you're pressing, go down here and select hue and saturation. Since we were holding alt, this is going to bring us this pop-up box. 
So all we have to do right now is click here and click OK. And now we can literally just work on this particular layer as you can see. So I want to bring the saturation down and maybe a little bit uh, bright. So somewhere on there. And there you go. That's pretty much it. And the final result is going to be this one right here. There you go. So if you like this video, do not hesitate to go bananas on that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.